Collectors and welcome to another Boss Bounty video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at some of my most recent pickups and also an awesome gift from a Patreon supporter of mine called Nino Brown. I want to say a huge thank you to Nino right off the bat for the gift. Unbelievably generous it really is and the story behind this is that the two figures that you can see in front of you now is two figures that I've wanted to get into my collection for absolutely ages. Now, if you're not aware, these are the Chandrilla Starline or Chandrilla, however you want to say that. I'm not still not 100% sure on how you say that. Uh, but one is the SK620 and one is the D309. Now, apparently these were exclusive originally to the star cruiser thing at the disney parks basically you had to stay in that hotel that costs four thousand dollars per family or whatever it is for a couple of nights and then the shop there had these exclusive figures now as we know that part of the park has now closed down so what was happening is that all of the remaining stock of these two figures was ending up in the normal stores within the Disney parks. And I know that Nino is a frequent visitor of the uh, Disney parks in Florida. I think he lives close by. And I asked him if he wouldn't mind, you know, if on his next visit, if he wouldn't mind picking these up and I was happy to pay for them and happy to pay for the postage and everything like that. And that was what we agreed and that's what we did. However, when the parcel arrived, it was much, much bigger than a box for these two figures, basically. So there's some other stuff that we're going to be checking out that he sent me um but i just want to quickly look at these two figures um i will probably be reviewing this one in a separate video because i have two because nino was very very uh, generous in actually sending me two of this one and the one of that one there which i obviously i pay for as i mentioned so let's just take a quick look uh this is the sk620 really really lovely thick cards on these and I just always like the design and the color scheme of this like R2 unit, if you like. You can see Droid Factory on the bottom there. Um, so they are Droid Factory figures. They're $14.99 each in the parks. No idea if they've still got stock of these within the parks, but um, that is where Nino managed to get them for me. So that's the, the you know, the Astromech Droid, if you like. Really, really nice card backs. They, they're just beautiful cards, these ones. And it's just really, really nice to have in the collection, basically. And then this is the other one. This is the D309. Now, the card back on that one actually feels a little bit... Yeah, it's definitely not as thick as that one. So maybe they were... And this was the second one to come out. So maybe they were cheaping out already on the uh, release of these. But um, there you can see the image of the droid there. And this is D309. Looks pretty cool in the packaging there. I've only got the one of these, so I'm going to be keeping this one carded. And as I say, these were available on the Star Cruiser. Look, yeah, Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. And uh, these were going for so much money on eBay. You know, people were sort of knowing people maybe that were going to stay there and they were picking these up and then they were basically selling them on eBay for as much as like £80, $80. I saw them at one point, which, you know, I'm never going to pay that for one of these. But I was happy to uh, pay for these two and the postage that it cost to get them over here. Uh, but as I say, that wasn't all that was in the package. The box was huge. It was always going to be way too big just for these two figures. So I'm just going to show you right now what else was in the parcel from Nino. And we're going to read the note that he sent along with it. And the note says, Clan Leader Tim, this package contains a gift I received when I first began my journey as a collector. It was from a long time collector and he wanted to welcome me into the hobby. Shortly after becoming collector, I found your channel and it has been a great ride. You've been a positive part of my collecting life with your weekly Q&A, reviews, Discord channel, theme music, Ewok rave, etc. and want to show my appreciation. I vaguely remember you mentioned your favourite Star Wars vehicle and thought it would be a perfect gift. Accept this as a thank you for what you do and hope it's something you or your family can enjoy. Apologise, it is an open box item and it's missing the projectiles. Which is absolutely fine, do not worry about that whatsoever. Also included are some random items and something for the channel. I look forward to the review. Now I presume that that is, that is this. He, you know, he thinks I should review this, which I 100% will. This is the second one of these and I will do that in a separate video. Uh, keep up the good work, continue to stay positive, be well and happy holidays. P.S. I want an invitation for the next Ewok rave. Free question for next week, what would be your fan's choice, an obscure character or vehicle you know, believe will not be released in the mainline HasLab, etc. 
loyal clan member Nino. Wow, I'm going to have to have a little think about that now. Yeah, wow, there are so, so many um, figures that I think they're never going to get round to now from previous media like Solo and even Rogue One. And Rogue One is one of my favourite movies from the Star Wars universe and I think I'd have to go with something that's from that. And I recently opened up the 5POA PAL figure from uh, the Rogue One 5POA line in a opening figures video with my son. And I would absolutely love for them to do that in the uh, vintage collection. But from Rogue One, I'm going to go with like the monkey man character that's firing out from the U-Wing. I don't think Hasbro will ever get round to that figure. I don't think he had enough screen time, but I think he looks awesome. So I'm going to pick that. Having said that, there is so many others uh, that I could choose. There really, really is. Uh, from original trilogy and other other series, from Disney Plus series and things like that. But I'm going to go with that. Monkey Man from Rogue One. But thank you so much, Nino. And we're going to get to what you sent me right now. Thank you so much, buddy. I really, really do appreciate it. Okay, so first up in the sort of box was um, some random bits here, which I think might be for my son because he does collect the coins. Uh, so we have some of the coins here. Who's that? I can see that is... That's Han Solo. Um, then we've got some others here. These are all from the 30th anniversary, aren't they? Um, very, very cool coins. That is Ellis Hellrot, which is cool. So thank you so much for those. There's also one of these scenes here from the Power of the Force line. And that looks like uh, from The Empire Strikes Back when Leia is being taken and uh, she says it's a trap. So that's pretty cool. So thank you so much for that. Also in there was a patch of the Razor Crest, which is pretty cool. I do like that. Very, very cool. We have a pin badge of the Mandalorian Mudhorn, which is also awesome. And then finally onto the main gift itself, which I was completely blown away by. Now, as Nino says, this is a, an opened item. I really don't care though. This is gonna look awesome. I cannot wait to do a video about this. I'm just gonna show you what it, what it is um, without sort of getting it open and taking a look inside. But there we have it. It is the Legacy Collection Clone Wars Arc 170 Fighter. This is definitely one of my favorite vehicles from the prequels and Revenge of the Sith specifically. Um, can't wait to, you know, get this out of the box and put it all together. And yeah, it's gonna look awesome in the display at some point. So thank you so much, buddy. I will do a video about this. Um, I've got another large vehicle from the uh, Clone Wars era as well to do in a video as well, which I've been wanting to do for ages. So that'll be a, a nice little mini series that I'll have on the channel where I'm doing some of the larger vehicles from the uh, prequel era. So thank you so much, Nino. And thank you to everybody for watching this video. Really, really appreciate it. So in terms of my pickups, we got the Chandrilla or Chandrilla, <laughs> however you say that. We got the two droids there from the Star Cruiser. We've got SK620 and D309. Awesome for the collection. And then we have the ARC 170 vehicle there, which is just an unbelievable gift. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we shall see you on the next one.